Hello, this is Mirna with Knitting with Mirna. Today I'm going to be making a knitted necktie using the seed stitch. For this, I'm using the Lion Brand Jeans yarn. It is a 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn. And there are 246 yards in a skein. I'm also using my number six needles by Knit Picks. Let's begin by casting on 14 stitches. I'm going to be using the seed stitch. So I'm going to cast on 14 stitches using the long tail cast on. I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on the description below for the long tail cast on for the seed stitch for binding off for simple decreases and all the steps that we're going to be using for this tie so let's cast on 14 stitches allowing me to do this in silence <laughs> because you guys know how I am with numbers and my count. I have to really concentrate on it. I'll easily lose track of my count. So let me double check. I already know what my weaknesses are, so it's not a problem. It's fine. It's just something that I have to do a little bit slower and quiet. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Comment below if you're with me. Okay, 14 stitches. So we're going to begin, the seed stitch has two rows. The first row is going to be knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one to the end of the row. And row two is purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one to the end of the row, that same sequence. So let's do the first two rows so that you can see how it's done. First stitch of row one is a knit stitch followed by a purl stitch. Then we knit, purl, knit, Now, row two, turn your work around. And what are you gonna do is, if there's a knit stitch, you're gonna purl it. Where there's a purl stitch, you're going to knit it. If there's a knit, so it's gonna be the opposite of what this stitch shows. So, how am I gonna tell my knit purls from my purl stitches so I can tell what to do. So there is a knit stitch. You can see it because it's flat and it has a V. So because I'm on row two, I am going to purl it. So that's going to be a purl there. Follow by a purl stitch. How can I tell that it's a purl stitch? Because it's raised and it has a little bump or a knot right here. So you move your yarn forward and you knit. You're in row two. Okay, so there's a knit again. Okay, so this is how the tie is going to look. We're going to knit about 21 or 22 inches of the same stitch before going getting to the decrease row and it's now time for our decrease row for that our pattern calls for knitting two stitches together at the beginning and the end of the pattern so insert your needle through the first two stitches and knit them together, creating just one stitch. 
I'll have a tutorial in the description below on how to knit two stitches together. Continue knitting in the pattern, following the pattern. Last two stitches and those two stitches I'm going to knit them together. So I bring the needle over and under both stitches and I knit them together. There's your decrease row. So now you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 stitches. Turn your work around and knit in pattern, meaning repeating the seed stitch for eight rows. Okay, let's do the first row together. Do it like so. And you can keep count of your rows using a row counter or using paper and pen and marking every time you complete a row just leaving a little mark or you're keeping it in your head whatever works for you so that was row one completed so we got seven more rows and here we have our eight rows in pattern now we're going to go to our second uh, decrease. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Knit the first two stitches together. Like this. And continue knitting in pattern. And we're going to knit in pattern until we get to the last two stitches of this row and we're going to knit them together. Okay, this is our last decrease row. Okay, so these two stitches at the end, we're going to knit them together. This is knit two together. The abbreviation for this decrease is K2TOG. Okay, from here on, we are going to continue knitting in pattern until the tie measures between 57 and 59 inches. It's Okay, I reached to 56 inches and I tried it on. This is a good thing about this um, project, about this tie, is that you can always stop and try it on to see if it's getting too long or if it's too short. So I tried it on and I tied a knot and I think 56 inches is good enough for me. So what I'm going to do next is bind off. And I have a video tutorial on how to bind off. It's right in the description below. So take a look. I'm just doing a really simple bind off loosely. And this is going to be actually under the other part of the tie. I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be hidden under the tie. So you still want it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be in pattern. Bind off 
and how exciting you have a gift for the holidays or for a birthday or for yourself. So here we go. Then you're going to cut the yarn, the working yarn, and oops, pull through. And there you have it. Here is your seed or moss stitch tie. Weave in the ends. And I have a tutorial for that as well in the description below. And wear it in good health. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. Uh, please subscribe, click like, leave a comment, and let me know, would you make a tie like this? Would you use another stitch? Uh, how about a different length? Leave it in the description below. I want to hear from you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.